Hey, hey, badasses. Welcome back to another video. I am Nathan. I guess I'm back. I am back. And I have been away for a little while, except for those uh, little shorts uh, <clears throat> that I've been doing uh, recently. Uh, I have been uh, going through some stuff. Uh, we're going to talk about that later. But first, we're going to be talking about Batman Lost Halloween Part 2. Which is the sequel to part one <clears throat> based on this comic book. Very highly recommended, critically acclaimed comic book. You guys should read this, it is very, very good, very gritty. Uh, if you want to see my review of that video, I'll put it up right up here in the cards. Cool, go check that out. Okay, so part two, right here, as you can see, we're going to see the transformation of Harvey Dent right here. Once again, the cover is absolutely beautiful uh, artwork right here, and we've got some more in the back right there. Got some uh, new characters that are going to be showing up in this uh, movie. And I have to say, it was definitely a pretty good conclusion. Uh, we get to see, again, that transformation of Harvey Dent the right way. Uh, how I think that's how uh, uh, sh uh should have been done. And, it's, and I see that because, you know, the way that, that the Dark Knight series, uh, with Christian Bale didn't do it that way. Uh, Batman Forever tried to do it that way, but they changed it up from the very first Batman. That was from Michael Keaton, uh, which... Uh, horrible, by the way. Not the Michael Keaton one. Uh, Batman Forever. That one was, yeah, no. I'm sorry. But anyway, uh, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, the character Harvey Dent, Two-Face, uh, was uh, voiced by Josh Duhamel. And I think he did a very, very good job of training this character with his voice. And kind of brought me back memories from the Batman animated series where Richard Maul was the voice of Harvey Dent Two Face, and I like how Josh Duhamel kind of stuck with that, with uh, with the voice that he used. It was very very similar, so I really did enjoy that. I think Josh Duhamel did a terrific job playing Harvey Dent Two Face. I would have to say this is probably Josh Duhamel's um, very first villain role. I could be wrong, but, uh, yeah, that's what I think, and, but, uh, I think he did a terrific job. Naya Rivera obviously did a terrific job playing Catwoman. I thought she just did a bang-up job. She was absolutely terrific on that. Uh, Batman, what, or not Batman, uh, Bruce Wayne. One thing I didn't like about Bruce Wayne, I actually don't remember mentioning this in the first video, but for some reason he had dark lines under his eyes, and... And, you know, I should made him look tired or something. I have no idea what I was about. I didn't really like that. So, very, very sharp lines, very, very sharp colors. Uh, I suppose to the art in this, the art in this was very uh, rugged and, and rough and um, tough and grimy, you know, and uh, which is dark, very, very, very dark. And uh, which I think was the, uh, the point of all that. But, um, I thought it was absolutely terrific. Um, the one thing I really didn't like is that they don't stick the story from the book. They take elements from the book and put it in the movie. Yes, they did do that. But as far as story is concerned from the book, they didn't really stick to that. But the story and these two all together, I thought was very very good I, I did enjoy the story it it both stories in in any way actually made sense look at this look how cool that looks <laughs> not awesome that is so cool i strongly recommend you guys check this out you know um and again i'm always going to mention this until you guys start doing it uh this is all i got for twenty dollars and one one disc as always, um, always, this is, that was kind of disappointing in that. Uh, I'll 
also check this out. I just saw this. Uh, this movie is PG-13. And this movie is rated R. You see that? That, I did not notice that. Yeah, so there's definitely a difference in that. Very, very dark, very brutal in the second time around. Also, I kind of missed the, the tin boxes. Here, let me show you what I mean. This is a tin box, right? Look at that. Tin box. Just like that. Tin box. Okay. I freaking love these. These are collector's items, you know what I mean? I mean, they, they don't do these anymore. That's what makes me mad. I want to see more. I want to see more of these. I, God, these are, I mean, these are awesome. These are very, very awesome. I kind of wish we could see more of those. Gosh, I don't even uh, know what to, sell, to, what to tell you, you know I mean? Uh, Titus Welber, also in this movie, played did a great, uh, terrific job playing Carmine Falcone. And uh, I, I think everybody who voiced the characters did their, played their part very, very well. Very, very good movie. I truly enjoyed this movie. I strongly suggest you wait on both of these movies. You watch the movie until after the credits, because there are post-credit scenes. And uh, the post-credit scene and the second one <laughs> kind of funny. So, and of course, check out the, the shorts and the um, sneak peeks. All right, coming up. The sneak peek in part two. Ooh, you're going to love that one. You're gonna, especially if you're a video gamer. You're going to love that one. So, I mean, I'm excited for it. It kind of makes me, I'm, I'm kind of regretting not playing that video game series. And, uh, so, I, I'm not going to give it away. So, but, yeah. Watch the sneak peek in the second one. You'll love it. Uh, yeah, I do kind of regret not playing that video game series. And I guess that's it for that. Uh, tell you about my life a little bit. I have been keeping myself extremely busy uh, on top of work. I have gone back into my martial arts, and which is very, very fun. Uh, Taekwondo is what I'm doing, and uh, I'm learning a whole lot of really cool stuff in a very short amount of time, uh, because I've done it before. I am always a kid, so my uh, muscle memory was still intact, which is awesome for my age. Also, you know, oh, I have a second channel, uh, Nathan's Vlog Star Day. Uh, if I can, I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to check that out. And, of course, you know, I've been uh, traveling and uh, just having some fun, uh, trying to keep this thing right. Uh, what else? There was one other thing. I have no idea. I forgot. <laughs> oh, yes, and I've also been trying other martial arts like uh, Jiu-Jitsu. Jiu-Jitsu is very, very... Fascinating martial arts, very, very hard to learn, I have to say. Uh, but other than that, uh, I've been uh, trying to stay healthy and staying fit and uh, just uh, trying to enjoy my life as uh, much as possible. So that's why I have been uh, haven't been around for so long. Uh, I've just been uh, very, very busy. I do apologize for that, but I got a life, and uh, you know this is part of it. I, uh, I, I do have other things I have to do. So, and work, my job is... Was, taking up most of my time, so uh, I've just been trying to keep myself very, very busy, so, uh, and uh, I think that's all I got for you guys, so check out part one, I'll leave the review of this video in the cards up there, check out part two, read the book. Again, I'll leave my review up there again, or at the end of the video, if you want to watch it until uh, the end credits. Or, you know what I mean, the end video, YouTube thingy. <laughs> and, uh, that's it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you saw the movie, I would like to know what you think. Uh, leave a comment down below on that, and subscribe to my channel. Until then, live long and prosper. May the force be with you. Be asking to each other. Especially in these hard times and party on dudes <laughs> and I will see you guys on the bounce feels right. it feels right. I can only say that it feels right